Hey guys, Ryan here at Signature Edits, and I want to share a really quick trick that is going to save you a ton of time when you're working with adjustment layers inside of Lightroom. Ready? Let's do it. So I've got this photo of some beautiful horses here, and let's say I want to make them just jump up from the background a little. Well, I can go to my adjustment brush here, and I can select a nice brush preset that I've got. This is from the Genesis Pack. If you're interested, if not, you can always make your own. You get the point. This brush basically has some slight adjustments on many multiple sliders, okay? So I can paint on top of these horses here, and you'll see that they'll pop out just a little bit. We're adding some contrast, a little bit of clarity, little dehaze, saturation, that sort of thing. Now, let's say I make this adjustment, and then I decide, hmm, I want it to be stronger. Well, that would normally require me to go to all of these little brushes and one at a time take them up, down, just sort of magnify the effect, right? And it's not going to be perfect or pretty or fast. It's going to take me a long time and it's really finicky. It turns out there is a way faster way to adjust the intensity of a brush or an adjustment layer inside a Lightroom. Ready? All you have to do is go to where your adjustment drop down normally is and look at that triangle just to the right. Click that triangle and it's going to collapse the whole panel. Awesome. Now you can see we've got an amount slider that we can drag to the right or left to either decrease the intensity or increase the intensity, whatever we need, and it's going to adjust all of these independent sliders all at once equally. How awesome is that? The best part is it actually applies to all of the adjustment brush, adjustment layer tools. All you have to do is go to your radial filter to find this out. Go to our radial adjustment layer, and let's say that I want to just go down here and say add some dehaze darken, okay? Let's say that this effect is not near intense enough for me because I want it to be super dark and moody. Well, all I have to do is drag that amount slider up and just like that, we have magnified the effect. Or let's say I want it to be super subtle. I can drag it all the way down. Same goes for your gradient graduated filter. You drag that down from the top and let's say that I want to just, now uh, what can we do here? Let's do a sun flare because why not? And let's say that I want that to be more intense. Well, I could try and do it manually like that, or I can hit this little collapse window and I can drag that up or down depending on how intense I want the effect to be. Really cool, saves a ton of time, and I hope it helps you the way it's helped me. All right, take care. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment if you knew about this. Why didn't you tell me sooner? I'll see you in the next one. Take care.